he has for fighting and for the sport. And if he can stay healthy, he'll be a force, make no mistake about it, in this division. If only he were about 10 years younger. Yeah. He could really dominate for years to come. And that's it. I heard a bell, didn't you? Right, 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 Seconds more. I don't think Jay Nady heard the bell for some reason. And that's it. This uh, one in the books. Over here? And the fans get an opportunity to stand and applaud, which is uh, obviously something uh, they couldn't do in the first fight. A lot of activity in this fight. And even though Dominic Quinn didn't do the, the kind of performance he wanted, he was active and didn't try, did try. Well, they kept going. It extended past the uh, final bell. Check this out. Fight, 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 fight's over, fight's over. Hey, no guys, the fight's over. <laughs> it's been over for a while. <laughs> Nobody told us. Well, that's more of uh, what James Tony is all about. Just keeps on fighting. He's got a lot of fight left in him, doesn't he? Really a superb performance by James Tony on every level. And, and and even though there might have been some failings with Quinn, this man performed well. Able to get back on track following all the controversy after the John Ruiz fight back in April. A disappointing look on the face of Dominic Quinn. Total uh, opposite for James Tony. He was able to let out a nice smile, takes care of business against uh, unrated Dominic Quinn, just as he was expected to do. But a, uh, a dominating performance. And now once again sets his sights on the big prize. The heavyweight title. And I think more than anything, it was the nature of the performance of James Tony that made this even a more special victory. All right, let's get the word from uh, our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, the judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision. Judge at ringside, Keith McDonald scores about 117 to 111. Judges Dalby Shirley and Paul Smith both scored about 119 to 109. All three in favor of the winner. And still the IBA heavyweight champion, James. Lights out, Tony. Well, lights out, lights up this crowd here at the Reno Event Center. They love him. His uh, promoter, Dan uh, uh, Goosen. And uh, in some ways, I guess a little bittersweet. Uh, his brother has to lose as the trainer for uh, Dominic Wynn, but he's happy as his man wins. So Tony lifts his record to 69 4 and 2 with the one no contest unbeaten his last 16 Quinn slips to 25 3 and 1 let's go up to the ring and uh, Jim Gray Jim Detroit. All right James James congratulations up, tonight. What's cracking baby. Hey did you benefit quite a bit that he elected to fight you on the inside. Oh, I love that. You know that's what, that's what I love to do that's down and dirty. Jim Gray, what's happening? Were you surprised that he didn't try and use his size and back up, and, and you were able to control the fight the entire night? Well, you know, if he was, try, if he was going to try to run, the run, the stick move tactics, you know, everybody don't think I can, I can do, I can do a movement. I like that. You mean it's like a chase, like a cat, like a cat mouse game. So I'm ready for anything. You know, I'm a little rusty because I've only, this is only my third fight in the last four years. I've been sidelined with injuries. People been writing me off, but you know what? Now I'm healthy. This is my first fight. I'm really healthy, but I need, I got to fight again. I'm gonna fight again next month. Who are you going to fight next month? I don't care, but I might fight you. <laughs> well, that would be a pretty easy payday, and I don't think many would pay to have that. Uh, is it simply a matter of health for you, James, because tonight yeah. was a very good performance, and we've seen you perform well when you have been healthy? Well, I'll give myself a, a, a B minus tonight because, like I said, I've been rusty. My weight kind of high. B minus. What didn't you like? Well, my weight was a little heavy. I, I, my movement wasn't great. My right hand was a little sloppy, but you know, like I said, it, it comes with my timing. I stay more active. I, I get a lot better. Did you watch the first fight with Chris Bird? Come on, Jim, I fell asleep. I mean, <laughs> and so did most of us. So would you want to fight him now or, or would you elect to go in the direction of the Klitschko Rockman winner? Well, I'll fight anybody. Klitschko, the Klitschko brothers, Rockman, Brewster, Bird, 
I'm the man. Y'all got to come see me to make some money. That's the bottom line right there. If you had your choice, what would the order be? Oh, Klitschko, because y'all think he's the best. And do you I'm think he's the best? No, I'm the best. I mean the best of your opponents, who, uh, of an opponent out there. I think Rockman's a little bit better, but you know what? Time will tell. I'm ready for anybody. I'm coming. I'm the man in the heavyweight division. If y'all want to get the belt, y'all come see me. I be James, a congratulations. To yeah. D-Block. Yeah. yeah. Well, Thank James. you. Let's go back to well, you, Steve. Hey, hey. All right, Jim, thanks for I'm going to go out on a limb here and, and say that James Tony's in a pretty good mood. <laughs> he certainly is. Interesting uh, evaluation of B-minus of his performance. And I like hearing him say he'd like to get his weight down a little bit. It would help him because it's all about speed for him. That was an excellent performance. And one of the things that made it excellent, we saw a heavyweight throw combinations and be active throughout a fight. Yeah. So will we see the two guys from Michigan, Tony and Bird, who've been at each other's throats for years early next year?